from ABC News. This is World News This Morning for Thursday, May 7th, 1992. The shiny new Endeavor and its seven-member crew have a lot on their platter. Their primary target is Intelsat 6, a $157 million communications satellite stranded in a useless orbit by a faulty Titan rocket two years ago. Less than an hour remains in the countdown to liftoff of the new space shuttle Endeavour. The target this time is a $157 million Intelsat communication satellite. One of the star performers is a man from the Washington area, spacewalking astronaut Pierre Tuo of Fairfax County. Tuo will stand on a platform in space and snag a spinning 9,000-pound communication satellite. After he stops the satellite's rotation, the two men will pull it into the cargo bay and attach a new booster rocket. Live from Channel 9. Booster ignition and liftoff of the maiden voyage of Endeavour on a satellite rescue mission. Hello everyone, America blasts off to a new chapter in space. We are in the early sequence due to the timing of the launch. That means we will begin the lowering of the orbit of our satellite very soon. Tonight, a Washington company and a family from Fairfax are breathing easier after another successful space shuttle launch. At Intelsat headquarters here in Washington, technicians operating from a miniature mission control are going to be guiding that satellite toward the shuttle rendezvous. This is News 7. After days of gaining on the Intelsat 6 in an orbital chase around the Earth, the shuttle Endeavour finally made its rendezvous. At first a dot in the darkness of space, the satellite slowly came into plain view. Firmly tethered to the shuttle's robotic arm, astronaut Pierre Thuo directed the crane operator inside the shuttle cabin to put him closer to the slowly rotating satellite. Okay, I'm going to bring the bar around. Okay, you can bring the bar around now. We'll take it slow now. Armed with a specially made grappling bar, it was Thuo's plan to wait for the proper moment of rotation so his bar would align with the coupling on the satellite. Okay, we just passed the spot. I'll have to wait till it comes around again. Then the moment of truth. Coming in. Hang on. Okay, have to catch the next time. The errant attempt sent the Intelsat 6 into a severe wobble of plus and minus 45 degrees off its axis. One side touched the satellite and then he pushed it and what happened? Yes. It, it, it caused it to begin, instead of just spinning like a top, to take this sort of motion. It's a mutation or a wobble. Endeavour's commander Dan Brandenstein, who is NASA's chief astronaut, immediately backed the new $2 billion shuttle to a safe distance. Yesterday's attempt to hook the satellite not only failed, but left it wobbly and moving dangerously close to the shuttle. The crew will give it one more try today, Monday, May the 11th, 1992. Yesterday's satellite rescue mission failed. Will today succeed? The Endeavour crew gets ready to try again. No, I think the uh, planning shift in the last night and the Intelsat folks uh, did a great job of getting uh, Intelsat back and uh, settled down and uh, we're uh, all well rested and ready to go uh, try it again. I think we were just a little bit unlucky last night when it got nudged and went into this mode. Uh, I think uh, a lot has been learned out of last night and it's steady again and I'm very confident that the NASA team of astronauts are going to do the, do the trick tonight and rescue the satellite for us. The staff at Intelsat gathered around big screen TV to watch the high-tech rescue that will cost them another $93 million. And for a moment it looked as though the bird was snared. This is NBC Nightly News with Tom Brokaw. For the crew of the Shuttle Endeavour, one more chance tomorrow, and the whole world will be watching again. High altitude, high pressure, high stakes. Catch a spinning satellite. Aboard Endeavour today, the astronauts decided an entirely different approach was in order. We think to do this efficiently, effectively, and successfully, we probably need three folks out there. The second washout in two days brought some suggestions from kids visiting the Air and Space Museum in Washington today. Maybe the question is heavy strength to it and pull it in. And the failures made this shuttle mission into a joking matter. I think you ought to put the astronauts out in space and hold on to each other's legs while the other one pulls it in. We have not considered a three-man option to this point. 
But the astronauts prevailed, testing whether three people in spacesuits could fit in the airlock. At the Johnson Space Center, other astronauts practiced the new capture plan in a water tank that simulates the weightlessness of space. Close up this morning, one last try. If the mission of the Space Shuttle Endeavor was a baseball game, today would be full count, bottom of the ninth. If they fail, the 157 million Intelsat 6 satellite will be a total loss because the Space Shuttle won't have enough fuel to try again. Those astronauts will try to grab the satellite with their gloved hands. Now, joining us now is Intelstat spokesman Tony Trujillo. Tony, why is this so important? It seems like a lot of money, a lot of risk to get this satellite back up and going. This is the most powerful communication satellite ever launched. And this one satellite will carry traffic for 60 different countries on four different continents. It's a real workhorse of a satellite. This is World News Tonight with Peter Jennings. Good evening. We begin in space. In all the 31 years that humans have been working in space, three astronauts have never been outside of their spacecraft at the same time. Today, after failing twice to capture a stranded communication satellite, three astronauts from the shuttle Endeavour try this evening to quite literally reach out and grab it. Wait for the right opportunity. At 8 o'clock our time, that opportunity came. Rick Heeb, Tom Akers, and Pierre Thewitt put aside the fancy hooks and the elaborate plans and just reached up and grabbed it. Okay. Now, News 4 at 11. Houston, I think we got a satellite. It ain't over yet. <laughs> the next major task was maneuvering the 9,000-pound satellite by hand until the capture bar could be attached. That was accomplished in about an hour and a half. Pierre Thewitt has successfully hard docked uh, with his EVA power tool, the capture bar to the underside of the Intelsat spacecraft. I can confirm it over here. Over. And then, 20 minutes later, there was the hard docking with the Endeavour shuttle itself. Okay, we see a good grappling rigidized uh, Endeavour. Congratulations. There were, uh, there were cheers and a lot of applause and laughter here. Doesn't mean we're out of the woods, but it means we all feel better than we have for the last five days. <laughs> Feels terrific. Everything's A-OK -okay aboard the shuttle Endeavour this morning. The crew's at rest, and so's that wayward satellite they rescued. In an historic three-man spacewalk, Endeavour's astronauts grabbed the satellite by hand, held it in place, and attached a rocket designed to lift it out of the orbit in which it's been stuck for two years. The glow from Wednesday's successful rescue of the Intelsat communication satellite burned even brighter Thursday with word that the booster, strapped on by the astronauts, worked, and the 9,000-pound communication satellite was on its way. Predicted post-PKM fire N1. That's a file I'm going on. DJ acquired. DJ acquired. DJ acquired. Hold on. DJ, you acquire 603? Yeah, she's coming up. All right. We have auto track at 1732. Woo! Way to go, DJ. Yeah. Okay, we look really nice. DJ, we got a spacecraft. Yeah, we All right. Need.